Look at racial skill modeling. This is part six of Revolve's Clonmore Express container ship. Scale is one to 700. In part five, I built the containers. So in part six, I'm going to be putting on the decals and uh, attaching the trails to the deck. So let's jump into this and see how well I get on. To begin with, I'm placing the decals on the hull. As you can see there, I've uh, sped this uh, process up slightly. The decals are, are going on the normal way, so it's uh, just uh, a little bit of a solution uh, to place the decals on. I'm actually using water, not a decal solution, I should say. Um, I did, didn't know how well the solution would, would react to the um, paint. And as it turned out, um, the water didn't react too well to the paint either. And if you can see on the picture there, there's a, a bit of a water stain. Now, initially, I just thought that was because it was wet. Um, you know, just uh, left a marking. But I think the water may have been too hot and actually um, took off the varnish. That's the only thing I could think of. But it definitely left um, some water marks on the hull. So that's going to have to be dealt with. But in the meantime, as I said, I'm just um, placing the decals on, going on to the containers here. Now, I've not put all the little name plates on the containers because there wouldn't simply be enough of them. So I've just done it on the pale orange containers. So, as you can see, uh, where I'm pointing out, there's a little marks where the water has been um, that's going to have to be addressed. So um, I'm going to have to repaint these parts. Now because it was a paint mix and um, I only mixed a little bit up with the uh, powder that I used, I'm having to mix up a little bit more so the tone will be slightly different. Only just, I mean, you really can't tell once it's dry. I did do a test to make sure it looked all right. So I used the iridescent powder once more. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and if you haven't seen that video, if you nip back uh, a couple of videos, you'll see me mixing up the paint um, with the iridescent powder for this black colour. And that's why you're getting that sort of shiny blue coming through. I quite like the effect, but I'm not sure whether it was the paint mix or some other reason why I got a bit of silvering on the decals. It wasn't too much, but it, as I said, it had to be dealt with. I mean, I was actually uh, thinking about leaving it because um, it looked like a, a bit of salt mark salt on the hull. I, I, I looked at a couple of pictures um, from the actual ship itself and uh, a couple of the pictures I've got these um, big uh, lines of salt marks going down, down the hull. Um, so I thought, well, if I do that, I'll have to go down the real weathering route, route for the ship. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted a, a clean hull as possible, much of a clean house, sorry, as possible. So, you know, repainting was the way to go. So now I'm placing on the containers. Now each uh, segment has a little location point for them, but they, some of them didn't say exactly how I would have liked them. They, they were uh, rocking a bit, let's say. Um, after uh, playing around with it, at first I thought it may have been me, but it was just, I think it was just the way it sets. But um, all it took was uh, a few seconds to hold each container in place before the, the glue started to bond. Now, as you can see there, I've got them all lined up on the mat. Um, and that's the order that they're going on onto the deck of the ship. If, if you remember, when I made them up, I'd done them all um, in order from the instructions and set them out that way so that I wouldn't get mixed up. So the, the the fitting wasn't because I was placing the wrong one on for instance. Um, it's just the nature of it I would have seen. As I said it wasn't a great hassle. Um, I would have liked them fit a little bit tighter uh, in their seat but that was just the nature of it as I said. And the truth be told, I think it was only around about three of them that didn't sit 100% properly. So um, it, it must have just been a de design fault because all the rest of them did sit all right. 
So as you can see, I'm progressing on with it, going into one of the smaller ones, the the 20 ones. So there's, so there's 20 and there's 40, um, two different sizes of containers. And interestingly, but when I get to the um, prow of the shape, the, the dividers are not there for the containers. This is it here. So I'm having to place these uh, by eye for the proper gap between each container. Um, but why there's no division lines there, um, I, I'm not sure. I would imagine that there's not on the ship. It's probably uh, just so there's more options when loading, I would assume. So, so, but it did cause a little bit of uh, difficulty trying to get them in place. As you see there with that one, and I'm having a little bit of difficulty just trying to get it how I want it. But in the end, I did get them all set there. And the last one, uh, that fit snug right in between the bow and tied everything in. So overall, I'm quite happy with the placement of the containers. So I'll just uh, spin it around so that you can see it. I'll just move it around a little bit. So in the end, yeah, I think it looks okay. And now with everything all set and in place, it's time to varnish. And the varnish I'm going to be using this time is Windsor & Newton Gloss Varnish. Um, and I applied it just with uh, a flat brush here. Now, I was thinking about using a, a semi-gloss varnish uh, for the containers. But I didn't have any. I did try um, a matte varnish on the containers, but it just didn't look right. It looked too flat. So um, in the end, I just um, used the gloss for the entire ship. Now, I may go back to it once I buy some more semi gloss va varnish and uh, redo the containers. Just I, I just think they would benefit from a less um, glossy finish on them. So if you haven't done so already, why don't you check out the channel for my other builds? If you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be kept up to date of all my upcoming builds. Hit that like button. Don't be afraid to leave a comment. And of course you can share the video. But for now, thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.